What's going on guys? Today we decided to take a step outside of my little office and we're here to look at sneakers in the real world. And what I mean by real world is that we're going to be looking at sneakers at the Adidas outlet versus the Nike outlet. Now, my assumption is that the Nike store is going to have better shoes, but you never know at Adidas. Three things we're going to be comparing at both stores today is going to be the quality of the shoe, the stock of the shoe, and showing how many pairs of shoes they actually have at each outlet. And at number three, the final thing we're going to be looking at is the price difference between both stores. But we're going to see and we're going to see what shoes Ah, just my luck. The music was playing so unbelievably loud inside of the Adidas outlet, I could not even hear myself talking. Some of the clips you are going to be able to hear me, but a lot of these clips are going to be voiceover, so I'm sorry about that, but I promise you guys are still going to love the shoes that we found. Alright, so the first sneaker we found is actually this Adidas Superstar. It's in a blue colorway, which is actually, I actually think this is a really nice shoe, if I'm going to be honest. It's originally $100, and you take an additional 50% off, meaning these are only 50 bucks. so number one on the list, Adidas Superstar, really clean shoe. I think it's a pretty good find, right off the bat. Alright, so the next thing we actually found was this Adidas Ultra Boost Mexico colorway. I believe this goes along with the World Cup that was happening. They even have an Argentina shoe. Now this one's actually really cool because look, they have a dragon pin here. And on the insole, it even says Mexico with, I'm assuming that's their logo. I don't really watch uh, soccer, football, whoever's watching this. Retail are originally $150 and you also get the 50% off. So it's only $75. Okay, I'm gonna get straight to the point with these shoes. The music was so unbelievably loud that you couldn't hear a word I was saying. These were the Adidas Time Star Wars shoe collab, and as you can tell, they had a ton of pairs sitting. The designs on this shoe was absolutely phenomenal, and I love all the Star Wars details they put into the shoe, and these shoes came at a retail price of $150. All right, next we're gonna be going to the Nike outlet, which I'm really, really, really excited for. The outlet out here in where we're at right now is one of the best outlets you could probably get. If you watch my YouTube shorts, or even my uh, Instagram reels, you will find that I find a lot of pretty good stuff at Nike outlets. So I'm hoping we find that today, and I hope we can compare that to the Adidas outlet. Alright, so we looked around the Nike outlet a little bit, and I finally found my top three shoes. It took us a little while in here, but overall, we're doing really good. Number three on the list, we have these Jordan Max Auras. Now, these are almost like an off-brand Jordan 11, Concord 11s, but these are just the Max Auras. The reason I'm putting this at number three, and there's one really big reason, is because if you can't afford a Jordan 11 right now, like the Concord colorway, I would suggest getting these. They have that Concord feel, the Concord look, everything to them. They even look like a Jordan 11 with the laces and the little straps right here. That's why I'm putting this at number three because right here, it's only 115 bucks. That's a great deal. Number two on the list, we have these right here, which are these Dunk Highs. Now, I'm not really sure what the colorway is called. I'll have it up on screen somewhere, what the name of the shoe is, but I like the cracked swoosh here. This old vintage look is really cool. These, beautiful colorway. $135 is suggested retail, but you also get 30% off. Second shoe, Dunk High, but they look really good. So I finally figured out why the audio was so terrible this entire video. You know that little mic that's on my chest? Uh, yeah, that one? It wasn't on the entire time. So sorry for the bad audio, I promise it's still a good video. After a little bit of searching, there weren't that many good shoes here today, but, 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 I did find this shoe, and before you all get on my case talking about how these are bricks, I personally, and Micah also personally, thinks they're very cool. It's the reason why I made these number one today, it comes with this card, and it shows you how to put the shoes in the bag. It's an Air Jordan 1 high, so it's not a mid, so that's already a plus right there. You can put it and keep it in this bag when you travel. I would get this just for the bag, mm -hmm. honestly, it's yeah. really cool. Alright, so these are the Jordan 1 high neutral olives. Now, what makes these a little bit different than the normal Jordan 1 high, these come with a ton of little packages. Packages. You could put, probably put like AirPods, you could put something back here, and you could even put something right here. The toe is actually a silver color, and then it also has this neutral olive colorway, which is really cool. On the insole, it still says Nike Air with a yellow insole. It's kind of hard to see, but the yellow insole, I believe, is to match the zipper right here. And in the zipper, you could keep, honestly, anything. Money, which I really wouldn't put anything in there. But if you had something that was kind of just on you and you wanted to keep it in there, this would be your go-to shoe. These were $170, which I believe $180 is retail price for Jordan 1 Highs. 170 is not bad, and I believe you also get a 30% discount. So let's do the math real quick. Three, so it ends up being only $119. That's, That's a, great a great deal. All right, so I'm a little bit dumbfounded. And the reason I say that is because I walked into this video thinking, all right, yeah, Nike's gonna win. Nike's the best, like we love Nike. But let's take a look back at what we found. Over here on the Adidas side, 
We had Adidas Superstars. We also had the Mexico World Cup Adidas Ultra Boost. And for number three, we also had the Star Wars Adidas Collab. If you compare the prices as well, which I believe is $50, $75, and also $120, and you compare that to the Nike outlet, which we had the Jordan 1 High Neutral Olive colorway, the Dunk Highs, the Jordan 11 kind of like the Concord looking ones, and if you compare those prices, which was $120, $135, the Jordan 1 Highs were $170. So if you just compare the price right then and there, Adidas takes the win on that side. So we have one point for Adidas. For the quality of the shoe, I personally think the quality goes to the Nike. I like the leather and the quality of their shoe much more than the Adidas shoe. The Adidas shoe was more recycled materials, which is nice and I appreciate them doing that, but I do appreciate the comfortability of the Nike shoes that we got today. But at number three, we had stock. Now what I mean by stock is which store had more of the same pair of shoes. And if you see the stock of the Star Wars shoes over at the Adidas outlet, that was absolutely insane. And at the Nike store, there's only usually one or two shoes. So I think Adidas got the point on that. So Adidas is up two to one. Best two out of three, Adidas yeah. wins for today. As much as it hates for me to say this, Adidas did take the win today, two to one. I plan to do more of these videos. I want to go to a bunch more sneaker stores. I also want to do a trade-up series. There's a lot I want to do. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Holden Haynes. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys later.